into a, a different part of the wood and here you can see me leaning against a big conifer. It's actually a Douglas fir. It's not native to this country but uh, to Northwest America, particularly the states of Washington, British Columbia in Canada, Oregon and so on. And a fabulous tree. But why talk about conifers? Well, we've been seeing, looking at beech trees, which are 51, 52 years old. And this also, this Douglas fir, is 52 years old. Planted the same week that the beech trees were planted. But you can see how big it is, how straight it is, and that is one of the reasons why so much of the planting that has taken place in Britain over the last 50 or 60 years has been of conifer. They generally grow faster than our native broadleaves. And even our one good native conifer, Scots pine, in terms of timber producing, obviously yew and juniper are native conifers as well. But in terms of timber production, some of the introduced conifers like Sitka and Norway spruce, like this Douglas fir, like the larches, are able to grow with a vigour that our native species don't have. But there's another really good reason why many of our woods and forests are dominated by conifer. That is, that this is the type of timber that industry requires. And if we look at the statistics in terms of wood consumption in this country, about 90% of the wood we use is actually from coniferous trees. Uh, it is the softwood, as we call it, as opposed to the hardwoods that are used for more decorative purposes. So there's a commercial reason why one wants to grow softwoods. Uh, conifers, that is, rather than hardwoods, or as well as hardwoods. Now, of course, for many owners, their priority is not timber production. But even a wood of broadleaves, an oak woodland, an ash woodland, is enriched by having a few conifers because there will be different birds, different insects that are associated with them. So diversity is added by having a few conifers as well. So to kind of summarise the little story of conifers versus broadleaves, we shouldn't really see it as a trade-off of one or the other, but they have different uses for different uh, uh, end uses and purposes. And also, one final point that I should have made is that often conifers are more tolerant of poor soils and exposed conditions. And so, for that reason, they do well on many of the more upland sites. So not really a trade-off at all, but horses for courses, if you like.